what is going on you beautiful human being welcome back to my channel today we are reacting to mashoku tensei episode 12 this is the last episode for the season break should be good let's see how they end it if you like mashoku tensei hit that like button maybe consider subscribing to my channel so that you keep up to date and obviously that goes with that boom notification bell anyways let's jump straight into it let's go so remember i was saying that last season at the 12th episode it was the break the season break and i i forgot about that crazy though that she actually finally told him i wonder how they're gonna go forward with this my theory is that the two of them are gonna go off and find zenith and like that's how they're gonna end the whole thing at the university by also going to the ruins that oh my gosh i love you too wow crazy but nana hoshi told him about the ruins that she couldn't remember where orsted took her right and so i think they're gonna go off to the ruins after whatever happens here my tent had collapsed <laughs> <laughs> I've embarrassed you. I wonder what the the man god is gonna tell him next. But there's obviously more to unfold at this point. She attacked Paul. Crazy. Isn't that the same as Eris? Seems everyone who all these chicks in his life all want to become strong enough to protect him. Wow, the holding of the hands. I just can't control it. <laughs> On the men. We've all been there. Well, not Rudy's issues. But I mean, you know, when you like finally get to like be close to your Betty, you know, how is she going to be able to be silent fits, you know, and Sophie at the same time? And, you know, they're going to end it with a bang. Like, I mean, the show. <laughs> <laughs> Luke talking of from experience. Grasping at straws. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this show. It's like it's only really hit me now. Like I've like I've rushed through 12 episodes very quickly. But it's almost like the strange thing is that I can't even it doesn't feel like I have, you know, it feels like I've only started watching. <laughs> that promotes vigor I can't imagine that the whole episode would be on this right last time I said that something big might happen here at the university and they might leave it like on that cliffhanger <laughs> Mr. Fitz <laughs> <laughs> he made a, a sculpture. Kampai. <laughs> Medicine. <laughs> Why does she look like she's gonna pass out? Well, that seems to have happened. But like, like my mind keeps going back to the fact of how is this gonna end? You know, how are they gonna proceed? I'm, I'm hoping that there's a big cliffhanger that gets me excited for the next half. But the other interesting thing is that the first time I watched the show, I watched, I think, the first two episodes and then I stopped. That's when it first came out. But then when I restarted it again, the whole season one was completed. <gasps> oh. 
Don't uh, oh. Oh, because he got flashbacks of errors. Crazy. He got flashbacks from errors leaving him. Wow. I'm cured. <laughs> Okay, okay, interesting. I thought that was the end. Oh, so this is what she wanted, right? She wanted to bring him in to what... I forgot what she was saying. To their plans or whatever. <laughs> if my beloved... I will marry Sophie. <laughs> Sophie Greyrat. <laughs> the bro just shoved her. <laughs> Wow, no more silent fits. Wow, it's at the end of it. Look forward to part two. Wow, so that was it. 12 episodes in, half of the season finished. Very interesting stuff. I mean, although, okay, obviously it is interesting with the fact that they're going to get married now and stuff, which I wasn't really expecting. I didn't really expect the timeline to like, go all the way that way. And now also at the same time, halfway through the season, it's it has been extremely slow. Although I've enjoyed it a lot, you know, there's a lot that i was looking forward to as well just in terms of you know i think it was the seven gods right and a lot of other things that i did want to see happen but there's a lot about the show that makes it okay just to be able to sit back and enjoy it and that's why i'm gonna miss it right I, I mean i'm not even sure when part two will come out in terms of when it starts again my guess will maybe be next year so that's probably gonna be it for mushoku tensei for right now i've enjoyed it thoroughly like i said it's one of my favorite shows of all time it's just it's a little bit different you know it's it's there's not as much goofiness that i'm used to in animes where you know sometimes there's just things that which i can appreciate but also i've seen through time as we evolve as anime evolves i've seen that a lot of it has evolved as well a lot of it is more serious these days a lot of it is more i don't want to say like soap opera drama but a lot of it is serious a lot of it is more as i grow older it's almost like the anime grows with me and the types of anime i like watching grows older as well so i'm glad for that there's not much else to say we at this point now i wonder how things will unfold and you know we didn't even see roxy once so which was kind of interesting i do though because like i said when things are slow they normally hit you with something out of nowhere right that's what they do is if, if in like the middle of the season it'll be like two episodes slow and then boom something big on the third episode so what i think is gonna happen is that because the first half of the season was so slow you're gonna have to hold on to your hat for part two because i think it is gonna be non-stop action it's gonna be non-stop everything there's gonna be so much to unfold and i'm i'm super amped to watch it but anyways if you like this season of mashoku tensei hit the like button subscribe to my channel to see more i'm gonna be reacting to more animes i'll see what i full monday slot with i'll leave the last episode up over here thanks for being on this journey with me so far but that's gonna be it for me thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit